everyone welcome back to my channel today i am taking you along of organizing my fridge honestly it's in dire need of organization it anyway let's move on straight to the video i'm going to be showing you exactly what the fridge is looking like i mean it's a hot mess but it's not that bad but i'm sure that we can definitely bring it together together you know what i mean <laughs> anyway So I'm going to start off by emptying the fridge and removing every single thing from the fridge because we're going to have to give this fridge a good deep cleaning. I'm going to be showing you exactly how I deep clean my fridge because before you start organization, a deep clean is definitely necessary. Let me know how often you clean your fridge as well. Now that the fridge is empty, I'm going to be removing all the glass shelvings and I'm going to be giving it a good clean with warm soapy water and then I'm going to start tackling inside the fridge. So I removed these parts from my glass shelvings. I don't know if yours will do the same, but if you can remove it and give it a good clean, it does trap a lot of grime and a lot of dirt. I'm using a sponge to get in between there to give it a good clean. If you can't use a sponge to clean it, find an old toothbrush that you're no longer using and give it a really good clean. In the fridge I'm just using a microfiber cloth with some Dettol spray which is an antibacterial Dettol spray and I'm just spraying it all over in the fridge. I am being very very quick because I am aware that um, I need to put the things back so I'm just making sure I'm giving it a good clean and making sure that I'm getting in between where the shelves sit on. I am using a cotton bud to clean inside that drainage hole and yes I saw this tip on a YouTube video I thought it was absolutely amazing it was an amazing idea and it got it really nice and clean i normally put a little bit of warm water down it to clean it but this was a fantastic idea so yes um try this trick and let me know how you find it it will definitely get it really nice and clean for you When I tell you my fridge looked like it was brand new straight out of the packet, it looks so clean. fridge organizers that I'm going to be using I got these from the range they are slightly longer for the shelving last week I got some from Lidl but when I went back they didn't have any unfortunately and those were the perfect size for my fridge but this will do as well I also got some glass Tupperware you can never have enough of glass Tupperware I'm trying to move away from any plastic Tupperwares so yeah I'm just going to be buying a lot more glass Tupperware and plus it keeps the food fresher for longer as well I'm just giving them a quick clean with warm soapy water and I'm going to get them dried and I'm going to start the organization I am so excited to just get my fridge in order I just need order in my life if you know you know when you have order everything just falls into place
towels in so I'm using these paper towels to put on the bottom of these trays so that it can catch any sort of moisture especially like with your grapes and your strawberries you want to keep them dry you don't want to keep them wet because it will end up getting mushy so this will help and to be able to just keep your fruit and veggies lasting longer inside your fridge try it out and let me know how it goes when you organize your fridge because I assure you it's been working wonders for me fruit and veggies are done and all organized I'm now concentrating on the cooked meats and the cheese and that was so simple and easy it just makes it look really nice and neat in the trays okay so it's time for me to just organize the fridge and just get everything back inside because time was not on our hands I did end up putting the drinks up just so that I can get more space but all I'm doing is literally just filling that back in organizing it for the kids yogurt or yogurt drinks I tend to keep them at the door of the fridge at the bottom so that it's easily accessible for them so they can just come and open the fridge and grab whatever they wanted from the fridge and in one of the drawers it would be the uncooked meats which is either fish um, chicken or lamb the two bottom shelves is where I keep my cooked meals and those meals would be either lunches, leftovers or dinners. They will go at the bottom two shelves. and I'm so happy with it. Organizing a small fridge can be very difficult, especially when you have a lot of food in it as well. We're a foodie over here and we're a family of four as well. So once this is organized, I know that it will be very easy for me to do my shopping. I know that it will definitely reduce a lot of food wastage because you can clearly see what you have and what you don't have because everything is in a clear container, is nice and neat and organized. <music> That's it for my organization. We are all done. I am so happy and pleased with this organization and how it came out. Remember when organizing your fridge to cater it to your needs or your family's needs, make sure that it's in a system that works for you and your family. And that's exactly what I've done. I'm really happy with the end product. And I am hoping that this will motivate you to get your fridge in order. Thanks for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.